We might as well know where we are. You never can really tell what's going on between people, can you? And people jump to conclusions. Sometimes it makes me quite angry the way people aren't allowed to be. Oh. You know, just friends. Not like us, you mean. Like us. I don't mean to say that friendship is a small thing. As a matter of fact, I rate it as one of this life's most precious gifts. But... But it shouldn't be turned into a watered-down version of something that is not. Such as? Such as... Ah, uh, well, to give you one example, uh, romantic love. That's not to say that um, friendship isn't in its way. Uh, a kind of love. A kind of love. See, I knew you'd understand. Oh, I understand more than that, Jack. Right. Could you open this? Yeah. You're a bachelor, yeah. and I'm a divorced woman. Now, some people would imagine that you have romantic intentions towards me. You have no such intentions, and you want that out in the open. Because you care about me, and you don't want me to be hurt. Have I understood you correctly? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just said it. it wasn't so hard, was it? I'm just not used to this. Uh, yeah. Whatever it is. Name and names, that's all. Yes. Now you don't have to be afraid of me anymore, do you? Good oh, Lord, I was never afraid of you. you. Why are you looking? I was never afraid of you. I Jack, I really am very thankful for everything you've done for me. Well, I'm sure there are far more ways I, substantial ways I can be of help that you're not telling me about. I don't want to exhaust your goodwill. Well, there's no fear of that. Well, there is something which would help me enormously. I find it this is very hard for me. If it's too much for you, you would just say no, wouldn't you? Just no. I mean, no guilt, no evasion, no running away. Yes, I think I can just but manage that. Something I ought to tell you, Warney. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I've agreed to marry Joy. You have? Mm hmm? Seemed the right thing to do. You did? Yes, there's... Nothing to worry about. Uh, she, what I've agreed to do is extend my British citizenship to her so that she can go on living in England. By marrying? Yes, only technically. You're marrying Joy technically? Hmm. Well, a true marriage is a declaration before God, not before some government official. And Joy will keep her own name and we'll all go on living exactly as before. Hmm. Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Now, Mr. Lewis, if you'll repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Clive Staples Lewis. To witness that I, Clive Staples Lewis. Do take thee, Helen Joy Gresham. To take thee, Helen Joy Gresham. Be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife. Uh, Joy Gresham, if you'll repeat after me, I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Helen Joy Gresham. To witness that I, Helen Joy Gresham. To take thee, Clive Staples Lewis. To take thee, Clive Staples Lewis. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Do we have a ring? No. 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 Well, that's that. All right, well, can I buy you both a drink? Sorry, Joy, I simply have to catch the 12.22. Well, then, off you go, Jack. Bye, Warnie. Bye, Jack. Bye, Joy. I'd be most grateful for that drink, Joy. Oh, that's awfully kind of you, Warnie. 
I think I saw a pub just down the road. Should we risk it? All right. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Here. Well, that was quite an unusual experience. Yes, you, uh, you must forgive Jack. Oh, I'm getting to know him a little by now. I, I think I understand him better. Anyway, I'm very grateful to him. Nobody's to know, he tells me. Well, actually, what he said was, it will be as if it never happened. <laughs> <laughs>